So you, they rolled up a, a, a cloth napkin and they put their chopsticks in. Okay. And then they folded it in half. And now so they it's have like, like a... tongs almost. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I can only... How, how did they, who came up with chopsticks before a fork? I mean, I'm... But have you seen, okay, talk about TikToks. Have you seen the little like babies that just eat with chopsticks? Like it's, that's crazy. Like I have to have those little plastic things that they give you at the restaurants (laughs) to stick the the wooden chopsticks. I just feel like such an idiot when I'm just sitting there trying to pick up a little clump of rice. No, so we used to live in Japan. I, I, that was one of the first things that I learned how to do was eat with chopsticks. Yes. And so every time I'm around my mom and we're, she tries to reteach me and I'm like, I don't, yeah, yeah, this no, doesn't no, make sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> Again, a fork. I think that makes more sense. Just uh, that should have been the first thing that I think. Or you just stab it. You just take your. Or just, yeah, just if nothing else, stab <laughs> the thing. With it. There you go, man. Hey, it's a no fear. Mmm. Ready to punch the devil in the face. Conquer those chopsticks. Let's go. <laughs> it's a No Fear Friday, man. We'll be right back. What's up? Welcome to Coffee and Confessions, man. This is a place where we drink coffee, confess the word of God over your life at the end of every show. We got a teaching for you. And then at the end of the show, we're going to confess God's. We're going to lead you in confessions over your life because the power of life and death is in the tongue. And those that love it will eat its fruits. They're going to eat its fruits. That means that you're going to see the results of speaking God's word in your life. And so uh, we would love for you to come on down to church this weekend. By the way, before I go any farther, we're Living Word Gilbert in downtown Gilbert. Love to have you there. We got a big old happy church family, and we'd love you to the be a part. Of, yes, the best. And uh, today we have it's a comment Friday, which means we love to comment. share some of the comments that have come in from our audience, and we want to love. We want to share some love with all the Coffee and Confessions family all over, wherever you might be watching us. Remember to shout out down low where you're from, where you're watching the show from, and we'll shout you out on Tuesdays. But um, we love to be interactive, so here we go. We've got some uh, co- some some comments, so go right ahead. All right, Elizabeth said, I love the confession today, y'all. Said it twice and wrote it in my prayer journal. Yeah. Love that. You know, that I love prayer, prayer journals. Prayer journals, yes. Jot it down. Yes. Uh, Regina said, I'm sorry, but people who drink hot coffee in the summer belong in prison. Uh, right to jail. Uh, right alongside the people who undercook is fish. Is this you, Regina? I don't know if this is this undercooking is her, fish or sushi. Is that what we mean? So, so no sushi? There's a new... I, I like sushi, too. Undercook dude. fish. But... <laughs> and then Sushimi you got... Sushimi and sushi. Wait, which is I, the difference? Let's not go there. Okay. I don't know. We already did, All like, a whole cooked. chopstick thing. <laughs> yeah. This is a themed... <laughs> theme is no a Fear theme Friday. Though. I don't know why, though. I see no correlation. <sighs> Right. Well, so we asked um, what drink you drink. When we're oh, yeah, doing yeah. coffee and confessions, is it coffee? Is it hot coffee, iced coffee? Is it tea? Yeah. Is it lemonade? What's your drink so we of had, choice? So we had a couple of like comments. Hot Nespresso lattes. Mega pine, if you will. So we got two a hot Nespresso pint. lattes in the morning and oh, one iced in the afternoon. Now, I do, makes a pint. Now, I do convert from coffee to tea more in the summer anybody follow that lead yeah i think that, that i don't like you do. tea i'm sorry uh, yeah that's true you so that's not gonna happen <laughs> i mean i know a guy who was a coffee roofer and he took round. his thermos of hot coffee up on the roof with him in the middle of the oh. arizona summer and drank that hot coffee it didn't matter so yeah i can't do that let's go ahead and today we've Get got to a verse word. for your day that's right the verse of the day comes from isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of our servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm -hmm. It's one Mm -hmm. of my favorites. Yeah, it is. Uh, You know, the interesting part of that verse is I think we we forget that the idea that sometimes a weapon can be formed against you. Mm. Uh, The weapon could be doubt. The, we- the weapon isn't even the thing that's used out there by the enemy. I think it's more our response. That can be the weapon the enemy's really trying to get mm. in his hand. 
So when he does that something out there, he's trying to get the real weapon he wants to get in you or, or to, uh, developed to use against you is fear mm, or that's well, mainly fear, yeah. but doubt, anxiety, all that stuff. So it's like the chicken little syndrome. He wants to get you into thought patterns of the sky is falling. Everything's crashing around me. I love that verse in Proverbs. It says, be not afraid of sudden mm. destruction. Some real wisdom there. It says when that thing just comes on you, you get that report from the doctor, uh, you hear what's happening in our economy, gas prices, everything's falling apart. You start, and if you're not careful, that stuff starts to download in you. But uh, maybe you just get a random bill, right? Mm -hmm. That all of a sudden out of nowhere, it's like, what? Where'd that come that from? That panic that raises yeah, it's up. That, or you get a phone call, you see a certain number come in. Yeah, anything that evokes panic, mm -hmm. anything that ev evokes that sense of, of rapid fear, what God's saying here is there's no place for that. Mm -hmm. There's no place for that allowing a fear to rapidly, rapidly uh, advance and develop inside of your heart. Push back against that by saying, no, I'm, I'm going to keep my calm here as I, yeah, I see. I, I, I see what he's trying to say or I see what this says. I see what's going on there. But I'm going to respond to it in a calm and collective manner yeah. and not allow yourself to panic. Not allow yourself to get into fear. I love it. And that verse, you started speaking that verse to me um, mm -hmm. years and years ago because I would panic and I would call you and or something, you know, something would happen and I would instantly kind of give in to that, that panicky feeling. And um, so that this verse has really helped me. But I love when you said no weapon formed against you shall prosper is is the, the weapon that the enemy tries to use. So a lot of times we think of weapons or things coming against us as physical things. Yes. Um, whether it's the bill right. or the sickness or the, um, the, the words that people are saying. But I loved how you took it that the real weapon... Yeah. Those are just kind of facade weapons, but the real, it's like, the, what is it, the Trojan horse? It's like yeah. the Trojan horse of weapons because the real weapon is yes. our response to it. I yes. think that that's, uh, that's, I, even, that's it. I, in I Psalm love that. 91, it says that no plague will come near your dwelling. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes you see certain things happening out there, or maybe even you receive you, a sickness develops in your heart and life, or mm -hmm. maybe there's some sort of a, a bill, like I said, there's some debt that tries to come into your life. But when you, the only way that you let it near you in, is when you let it in you. And that's why we have to understand the weapons might come and it might be formed against me, but it's not going to prosper. So I'm going to keep it out there. It's not going to come near me. Uh, we don't let it on the inside. Uh, it's like the whole thing with COVID. Mm -hmm. That was a virus that was running rampant throughout the world. But the real virus was what was happening to people on the inside. We're still yes. seeing the results of all that went on the last couple of years. And all the hell that, that, that certain people in high places or whatever did to people. Um, and way that they, they locked stuff down and caused anxiety and panic and fear to run rampant to accomplish whatever of their own agenda they wanted to accomplish. So, That's the thing. Mm. Be not afraid of sudden fear. Okay. You've got to prepare yourself. That's not the last time mm. that you're going to see something or hear something like that. You can't believe the doctor's report. You can't believe what the debt collectors say. You can't believe what the IRS says. You can I'm not saying, it. look, you got to do what you got to do, but believe the fact that God says that he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. That means God's got it. He can pay for it. He ain't worried about it. So you shouldn't be either. And no weapon formed against us will prosper. I love that. So if you take that little... It's not the entire verse, but if yeah. you take that first little line of the verse, no up informed against me shall prosper, really the key is in that last portion. So there's going to be weapons that are formed against us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times as, as Christians, we don't think that there should be weapons. And if there is a weapon that's formed against us, is if there is that sickness that comes our way, you know, we've been talking about sickness this week, um, or I should say healing, you know, things that are coming at us or a, a, a bill you know, if, if there's something that comes at us, we think that that is the problem. Well, yeah. that's not the the key to that verse. It, it's well, there's the enemy's going to form weapons yeah. against us. That's what he's doing. He has nothing else to do but sit there and handcraft it's, weapons to try to lob <laughs> at us. Like that's his his thing. That's what he does. He has nothing else to do. But it, the key is that those weapons will not prosper yeah, against prosper. us as children but of they're God. Formed. I mean, you just got to know you're in a fight, right? Like you're in a ring mm -hmm. and there's an opponent and he has weapons. He's got his dukes up. He's going to buy. There's, a, there's an idea of when, if, if, of how fighters 
then some of them were really good at it. Mike Tyson was one who was really good at it, but they slipped the jab. So mm. a, a punch comes in and be not afraid of sudden destruction. I was like, whoop, I just, it's like when you do one of these, you know, it's coming this way. So you know how to, there nope, nope, not gonna get me. You're gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping the jab. That's what that's called. It's called slipping the jab. You move this way. So he comes in at you, throws some junk at you. So don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trial, mm -hmm. right? It's like, you're in a fight. <laughs> it's the the jab's gonna come. The punches are gonna come. Slip the jab. Yep. Be not afraid of sudden destruction. Yes, the weapon might be formed against you, but it's not gonna prosper. And so we we calmly and I know we've used this word recently, steadfast in a steadfast way. We move. We duck. We 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 challenge. We counter punch. We know how to do these things. You know, when the enemy comes in like a flood, it says that the Lord will raise a standard against him. Mm. He's going to raise up like, it's really like a wall. And actually, I got some pictures of some flood walls. Um, and these are, and one of them's a sea wall, and one of them's a flood wall. And these, these walls actually protect against the rising waters that might come in. Mm -hmm. And that's what it says, that the Spirit of the Lord is going to raise up a standard. Are you stay in there? No, I'm not leaving the ring. My God's going to show up on my behalf. I'm not going anywhere right now. God's got me. I'm going to stay in here. Actually, I'm taking a fight. To you. What, what the enemy wants you to do is retreat. But no, we stand and we watch how God rises up that wall of defense against what the enemy is trying to do in your life. Watch. Yep. When you stay in and fight, you, you decide I'm going to be a person that fights the good fight of faith. There's nothing that can stop you. Well, you know, we have a shield of faith. Yes, you know, there's a do. reason we have a shield of faith. Um, and because you know, the fiery darts. God knows that there's going to be stuff coming at us, yep. but he's also given us a sword, Yes. you know? And so there's, there's an action of, yeah, hold up your, the shield of faith, hold mm -hmm. that up, but go after the enemy. Yes. Take your sword. The sword is God's word in his promises and what God says, and take that straight to the enemy. Yeah. Amen. That's power. Let's go ahead and make our confessions today. Greater is he who lives in me than all the junk the enemy throws at me. Let's say it together. Greater is he who lives in me than all the junk the enemy throws at me. There you go. No weapon formed against me, my family, nor my church family will prosper. That's right. We stand with our church family. Let's say it together. No weapon formed against me, my family, nor my church family will prosper. See, there's a covering when you're a part of a church family and that prayer covering, you've got people in the ring fighting with you. Uh, that matters. You don't be alone. Come on out if you're in the East Valley area to Living Word Gilbert, or, or maybe they can find somewhere uh, wherever they might be. That's right. Yeah, amen. So go ahead and share the show, like, subscribe. Comment below. And guess what? We're going to see you next week. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. God, God is good.